Hey guys, Xnitcher here. In the previous episode of the Legacy Challenge, we did welcome new puppy Luna into the family. So I'm eager to see how she settles in in her new surroundings and home. And with Tamara pregnant, let's hope that we will welcome the fifth heir into the Swan family. So on that note, let's dive in. So new episode of the Legacy Challenge, we had, oh yes, we had Landon die on us, didn't he? That's unfortunate, so everyone is rather unhappy. Let's fast forward this. So we have maybe Justin ready to get up. Let's get him up. Let's get him, let's get him probably showered. Let's get him to serve. Let's have a look. Serve a garden salad. What? What is this? Why is this left here? He can eat that. Oh, I forgot they had this. Right, he could put that away. What's happened? Oh, why? Tamara can now take family leave as well as Justin. Oh, what's going on? Oh, no. I forgot dogs do that. I'm just going to pee. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> Luna is going outside. That is fine. Okay. So mop that up. The dog's pooing and the dog also pooed. Okay. You can throw that away. Get to know. Fast forward. Oh, became friends. Fabulous. Call Luna to eat. Luna, you can go in. There we are. Oh, Summer's awake. She's hungry. Oh no, he can resume the garden salad. May as well have some backup food. I think everyone's starting to become awake. All right, Regina, do you mind cleaning that up for us? Thank you. She can then take a quick shower and then grab some leftovers. Summer, you have to do some homework because I have forgotten that you are a teen. Regina had a eureka moment being a genius. That... Oh, okay then. Justin, do you mind cleaning that up? She is very much heavily pregnant. Wow. She's already in her third trimester as well. Okay, so she gives birth. She's definitely going to give birth in today's episode. Woohoo. Fast forward this. Luna is singing a song to Justin. Pet. Did Regina just fart? Regina just fired. <laughs> Regina, would you like to scrap him? Tomorrow, how are we feeling? What are you going to do? Are you going to help Summer with homework? That's nice of you. Regina, I'm going to get her to paint, playful painting. Let's fast forward this. Tomorrow's off to work. Summer just farted as well. Have, what, what have they eaten? <laughs> homework complete. Fantastic, Summer. You can now go to school. <laughs> oh, has no one paid the bills? And I was just about to say, we can go to the Geek Con. How has no one paid the bills? We have gotten quite a bit of money. Pay bills, please. Pay bill. They're all farting. <laughs> Let's get him to go to Geek Con. Because he's a writer, he could get some inspiration. Ultimate gaming test to the stars. You know what? Let's get him to go. He can make lots of friends here. Oh, wow. We can get him to explore space. What else is going on here? Let's get him to do one of these. Someone's off to space as well. All right, played a bit of that. What else can we get him to do? There we go. He can go on here. Participate in a hackathon. Oh, he's required the programming skill as well. Fast forward this. All right, fast forward this some more. See how far he gets. He likes programming. Alrighty. Be the hackathon with a score of 14%. We'll announce the winner of the end of the festival. Okay. Let's get him to explore space. Where is he? Off to space he goes. Rocket science skill. Okay, we'll fast forward this. Oh, abduction. Justin doesn't remember much, but he thinks he may have been abducted. Now he stands in a small, sterile arena. A motley assemblage of his... And the bleachers slowly... It contains two items, a ball, a container with two holes, one round and one triangular. The room is tense with excitement. Let's go with the round hole. The round, the round hole and the room erupts into ferocious applause. Justin instinctively bows graciously as the puzzle... Recedes back to the floor, replaced by a new one. The next rising pedestal has a hat. Yes, it's a very fine hat, perhaps a derby or derby. What should Justin do? Wear the hat. Oh, well done. Eureka, the hat goes on the head. More cheers spew forth from the crowd as Justin rifles the hat into the stands with a flourish. They're caught by one lucky fan. The hatless pedestal sinks and disappears into the ground and is shortly replaced again. The latest test pedestal appears to hold a chair. A simple metal chair. Sit in chair. A classic alien prank. Justin is a prep putting his butt into butt reception areas. He sits down without incident and the crowd goes well, but they're not cheering, they're laughing. The pedestal chair, Justin ensemble sinks into the floor just like the other tests. But the machine basically dumped uh, into a rocket blast at home. Oh no. Oh, who won? Ah, uh, he didn't come first. Never mind. 
He's done a good job though. Right, you can observe all oh, sp spy on apartments. Let's get him to do that. Fast forward this. Let's get him home. When asked, what did you do today, Justin? I went to the Geek Festival, went to space, basically played VR. <laughs> okay, how is everyone feeling? Let's get him indoors. Uh, he can go read, I guess. Regina's obviously sad. Let's get to call the sad hotline. Where is it? Summer is doing summer things. She is swimming. We got Tamara. Oh, she's hungry and I got a lot going on. So she can eat leftovers. She can and play a game all right he's tired we can get him to go to bed so we've got painting here resume playful painting oh okay summer is happy she has just done some laps in the pool tomorrow's feeling much better actually summer do you want to keep yourself preoccupied with the dog she can give a bath to luna so to art gallery when are you gonna give birth oh anytime now okay luna's aging up okay that was quick luckily i was here for it Summer, do you want to come here and see uh, Luna age up, please? <laughs> Luna aged up. She's now become an adult dog. She can now swim, climb stairs, go for walks and start learning tricks. If not spade, she can now mate with other dogs. How do we get her spade? All right, she can wait for Luna to do her business. And we'll go and get her spade after Summer has taken her shower. The clinic, I just realised we wouldn't be open at this time. So we'll have to do it in the morning. All right, tomorrow, do you want to go see what Luna's up to? Oh, it's Landon. It's her dad. And then let's see. We can do some training. Uh, she can train to sit afterwards. Tomorrow has acquired the pet training skill. Okay. Oh, let's fast forward while she teaches Luna to sit. I oh, know she's going to eat instead. <laughs> right. When does she give birth? Doesn't say yet. Okay. What What is he doing? Justin, mate. There's food in the fridge, but okay. Tomorrow I can go toilet and then go back to bed. Gone into labor. Okay. Tomorrow's gone into labor. Three hours. She gives birth in three hours. Going to be a boy or girl? We don't know. Okay. Regina, do you want to take Luna out for a walk fast forward justin what are you doing oh he's reading okay mara's having a baby she's having the baby justin do you want to like run up here it's a girl okay so that's that's a lot of girls this is the fifth air and she's a girl all right bear me i'm gonna think of a name i have gone with brianna swan new baby brianna justin look at your new daughter feed baby's asleep right oh it's kind of still skip a school. No, let's not skip school. And Summer aged up. Oh my god, what? With Summer aging up, her last trait is neat. She's due to leave the house now. And she's sad. Hey, Tamara, would you be able to go out jogging, please? Now that you physically can, anyway. Oh no, you can eat first. Okay. There we go. Go jogging. Summer, she's feeling all right, but she's meant to leave the house now. So Summer, I'm afraid we're going to have to get you to leave the house. Okay, so with Summer due to move out, I'm going to find an empty lot, put her in it. Any siblings that have to move out from the very start, I think since Taylor, I will upload them to the gallery so they can be used by myself by you guys whenever so with someone moving out i think let's have a look how much should suffice Fifteen thousand. that should suffice right so that is summer all successfully moved out apparently we got mail and then he could take care of his new baby talk make silly face oh he's off to work however tamara is back from her jog i think it was or was it work an artful deal oh here we go regina has made great strides as a painter and finds herself wondering if the time is right to push for major gallery exhibition feature her artwork unfortunately recent discussions in museums da -da 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 -da. each person she spoke with has complained that she just isn't well known enough as an artist to be featured that said a stack of simoleons would quickly change someone's mind or regina grease the palms of a museum created to get her artwork exhibited Pay off a curator, Regina will gain fame, Regina will pay a large sum of money. Whoa. Shall we try that? But what's the amount? We have 37,000. So let's have a look. Oh, it's not massive then. Nouveau Artiste. Oh, wow. She's got her own exhibit. Oh, that's good for her. Right. How did you manage to wait yourself when the toilets were right there? Right. Do you want to at least take a shower? Plagiarism accusation. A blogger from a competing site is writing post after post about how Justin stole his idea. In a few more days, this will be a full-blown internet scandal. Should Justin defend himself in a post or lay low until it blows over? Fight it. Performance gains. Oh, awesome. Right. Can she go play fetch? I think she needs a ball in it inventory now can she go play fetch now yeah baby's doing all right fabulous regina's home we'll get her to hop in the shower and then she can grab the paint and make a new one baby's asleep we're just gonna fast forward this while she keeps playing fetch oh she was gonna take the dog to get spayed weren't she right stop all that let's quickly go oh luna learn how to fetch that's good okay fast forward fabulous now we wait 
Oh, she's ready to go. Luna Swan has been spayed. This means that they cannot make babies anymore. Through the magic of technology, the surgery station can be used to reverse this procedure. Praise Luna. She was very brave. She did very well. All right, let's get them to go home. And Luna is successfully spayed. It's almost Justin's birthday already. It's almost Brianna's birthday. I'm tempted just to make her grow up, you know. All right, before you go to sleep, can you check on your child, please? And thank you. I'll probably get her to age up. In fact, oh, she's aging up. <laughs> Fantastic. Brianna's aged up. Let's have a look what her traits will be. So as a toddler, her traits will be angelic. Okay. And as a child, her traits will be social butterfly and outgoing. And the remaining traits will be inner peace with a spa membership, self-assured and geek. So that is every year that has had self-assured. <laughs> so as a toddler, we said angelic. So here we are. So now what we'll do is have a look at changing her appearance. Right, so this is Brianna all finished. I changed her hair. We've got her everyday look, got her formal look, her sleepwear, her party wear, her swimwear, her hot weather wear, and her cold weather wear. So let's bring her back. Fabulous. So that's them sort of. So what I'm going to do, I'm thinking we can try for one more baby, perhaps. We'll see how far they get. There we are. So that will keep them preoccupied. She can start on her tablet. So let's play Blick Block. Regina is sad. Of course she is, so she can resume that. Okay, so with everyone quite content, I will leave it there. So today we successfully managed to welcome Brianna into the world. Luna aged up into a full adult dog. And tomorrow and Justin may have another one on the way. The next episode, I'll be eager to see how Brianna gets some. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.